The homeowner wanted a house that is generous and airy, filled with light and to be near nature. One of the biggest aspirations we have for the house was really to bring light in the middle of it. When light is in the house, the great outdoor is being implied. Hi, I'm Alan Tay. I'm the managing partner of Fallbooks Architects. The namesake, the Round Plan House, originated and popularized by the architect Aldolf Roofs in the 20s. The Round Plan House is an intermediate terrace designed for a family of four. We often find the car porch of most houses overwhelming the frontages. We created a very small cantilevered canopy, just big enough to shelter the passengers on one side of the car for drop-off kind of liberating the rest of the spaces to be punctuated by the three canopies. From the street, we wanted the appearance of the house to kind of respond and reflect what's in the inside, which is having a lower floor that is so porous and permeable to the nature. Well, the upper floor is filled in a layer of dark, expanded metal mesh to kind of protect and give more privacy to the bedrooms above. On the lower floors, we created this thoroughfare alleyway space where extremely porous. We enjoy the cross ventilation throughout the house from the front all the way to the back. We have a basement that houses the entertainment room, multi purpose in nature. But what's interesting is that being half sunken, it doesn't really feel like one. Having terracing green coming down from the ground floor, to the basement, it brings in nature, it brings in light, so that basement feels like another first story. The entryway was narrow but tall to create a kind of dramatic entrance, to feel almost like an alleyway or a gallery that connects to the different levels of the house. The material palette is decidedly kept as monolithic as possible and subtle, the walls are finished in board form concrete and rough cast plaster. The main feature of the house was really this interior atrium right at the heart of the house that organized all the different staggered floors. It is naturally lit, ventilated as well, using a stack effect. Atrium is planted by clusters of secular trees and they shaded the entire spaces beneath. Having a stairs in the middle of the house between staggered floor plates, when you move out from the bottom to the top, you have this 360 degree view of every different rooms and spaces. It feels like almost back alleyway staircase where you can see the city in that sense. The living room to me is more kind of a terrace, completely porous to on both sides, one to the street and the other to the internal atrium space. It is designed in such a way that it's elevated half a floor up from the street in a height that is amongst the tree canopies, almost as if you're in a tree house amongst the trees. The dining space is the heart of the house. It's right next to the atrium. It has a full height sliding glazing that connects the dining space to the back garden. The backyard is less of a service yard, but the garden space that connects to the large landscape facing the black and white houses behind. As a kind of slight departure from the rest of the house, they're slightly cooler, more monolithic. When you enter the master bedroom, we wanted the sense of warmth and to feel protected, but we want that connection to the outdoor spaces the trees, to nature. And that was really what's defining this main space. It overlooks the large green estate and how this connect sense of nature extends from the bedroom to the master bathroom. You're kind of engulfed almost by nature. Interesting thing that we created was the coffered timber ceiling. Create a sense of warmth even in the bathroom. 
you almost see no enclosure. There's no windows. The tub is right next to our under boxes that opens to the sky, almost like outdoor bath. I think that kind of experience is important, that you feel that connection right next to nature, right next to outdoor. Continuing the aspiration to become interconnected. On the upper floors, when it comes to the bedroom, it is less permeable, but we created pothole windows to create sight lines. The kids will be able to see what's going on in the living spaces. The parents on a higher level partially survey the kids. Connection is important. Even in the private spaces, you are part of the bigger house. And our aspiration really in most of our project was to draw a human connection to nature. In the heart of the house, you can feel connected to the outdoors. You can read the weathers, you can feel the mood changes as the sun shifts. We like to think our oh, houses are special in a way. A key criteria of design was to marry the needs of the homeowners with our own aspirations. Thanks for staying till the end. Now, if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackthomes.com.